What is up y'all? My name is Nori and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be continuing our manga series. I started this manga series maybe like end of the year 2020 and I wanted to hit some certain categories. So today we are going to be talking about how to read manga. I know and it's okay because if you are a total beginner you're gonna be lost and it's gonna be a little bit intimidating but it's okay we're going to get through it. So the first thing that you need to know is that the manga itself will actually help you. There are some books that when you flip it you're like whoa you're on the wrong page. Let me see if I can find some examples. So the reason why it would say you're reading on the wrong page is because we read left to right. Well in Japanese manga we read right to left so that means that the book is actually it looks backwards to us which random paperback you would open the book right here and you would just open it left to right and you would read every single page and that's fine but if you notice if I hold it the same way left is the back side of the page so you're not going to get much if you're reading it backwards now if you open certain manga it will straight up tell you you're reading the wrong way and some of them actually I'm going to zoom in a little bit and it will tell you a guide on how to read the manga so some of these mangas are super useful we have um this one that has it this is spy x family we have the king's beast by ray toma which if you would open it if you were to read the american style or the english traditional style it will tell you you are on the wrong page and it will show you right here how to read it now if i were to grab tokyo ghoul this one actually doesn't have anything it just has more credits in the back because actually i lied you see it just says this is the last page right there so it does inform you that you are reading it the wrong way and the most important thing that you have to know is that we're reading right to left not left to right another thing that you might think is confusing but it does take practice i grabbed a volume one of spy x family by tatsuya endo i'm obsessed with this love the series a whole heck of ton so um the first page is most likely is going to be in color but there are going to be three panels here and i'm just showing you right now but but we're going to be talking about three different types of um text in manga so you have your narrator which is overall person talking about the story which you'll understand and then we have the text bubbles right here i'll just zoom right in the text bubbles means that the person is talking as you can see like right there that person is that's their direct line and it will point to that person too and this person talking so it will point to that person as well and then we have um i lied it's like four different types so you have the narrator telling the story sometimes then you have the actual text bubble person you will have sound effects like the car's vroom right there which adds there's a crash right there that lets you know when there's a clatter that means that something fell off so that is the third type of bubble now i'm going to flip to another page right here it is the thought person bubble which is right here that means that it is not in a text bubble and it's not really narrating the story you're actually seeing the thought process of that person so you would have the regular text bubble you would have sound effects you would have the narrator story and then you would have the actual text which will always be in a bubble pointing to the person so now that you know some of the basics or how to start getting into the manga and I've broken down the four types of text for you. I'm just going to put some pictures up here, at least like page one and page two. And then we're going to go over the format because sometimes they have different boxes. But the most important thing that you have to remember is that you have to read right to left and then top to bottom completing each square. It's going to sound confusing, but your girl's got you. And you're going to hear my voice, but we're just going to get into it. 
So we're going to be taking a look at Prince Freya by Keiko Ishihara. This is part of my ebook manga collection from Comixology. Um, and the first thing that we see is the narrator's text. And then we see the sound effects, which narrator's text is so important, especially in fantasy, because you really don't get that background. So this is why it's so important and it is so important to not skip over any of these parts because it's part of the experience and then you might get lost if you don't so again introducing the land introducing the character what she's doing and sound effects which adds to the story and they're all equally and very important so right here you're going to see numbers on the page and uh, I put like little reminders here, but we read from right to left. Now the numbers indicate where you need to start and where you go. So most of the time manga have boxes and you have to complete each box to continue forward. So that's why we read right to left and top to bottom. So as you can see on number three, you're gonna read the top text, bottom text, and then you are going to move over to the other text which is going to be top and bottom as well and um yeah most of the time manga for me it takes like 45 minutes to an hour because you don't want to just read the text you want to see what's going on you want to see what story or what location they are there's a lot of things going on here so you want to take your time so again we're gonna go through this quickly and you'll see where you need to read numbers one through eight so remember that it's just right to left and top to bottom take your time enjoy the artwork and have fun because manga is such a blast to read so highly recommend that you pick up Prince Freya which bomb I love this series it's actually a pretty new series so you could catch up and uh, read along as currently so hopefully this helped all right y'all and that is all for this video hopefully you found it very educational and very helpful even to people who have been reading and just want a little practice or if you are new to the club of reading manga hello big fan over here so yeah i'm I hope that you enjoyed this video and it was everything that you wanted and let me know what type of manga videos that you want to see because I've been reading non-stop manga and um, I've already talked about this with you guys that I wanted to start incorporating more manga videos on my channel so we're going to continue with that trend but if you have any ideas let me know in the comment sections down below and again thank you so much for watching my channel and I will see you next time bye